We have another day of Path of Exile under our belt. And in this video, I wanted to do two things. I wanted to give you a progress update on my Path of Exile grind in 3.25, how my Lacerate Gladiator is doing. There's been some Path of Exile 2 news that I'm briefly going to cover. There's some good and bad news, but I'll get into that later. But before we get into that, a lot of you continue to watch my content, but yet do not subscribe to my channel. If you can find it in your heart to hit that subscription button, I would really appreciate the support of my content. All right, let's get into my progress in 3.25 and the latest and greatest on Path of Exile 2 news. Before we get into my progress in Settlers of Kalgor, I wanted to give a update on Path of Exile 2. We'll be doing this frequently depending on what kind of information we're gathering, but Path of Exile 2 looks like it's coming in the very near future. Everything that I've heard and read looks like a late 2024. Some people are saying November 2024 is when Path of Exile, the early access part of it, will be hitting the airwaves. Now, prior to the release of the early access of Path of Exile 2, there is some new information we have on the closed beta. Now, I've been asking around, and during my live streams, I've been asking if anyone has received an invitation. I was hearing rumors that invitations were going out and sure enough, while I was doing and taking my daily Reddit dose, lie and behold, this is what was posted literally 10 hours ago. And it's confirmed PoE2 closed beta invitations are going out. Now, I wasn't able to attain exactly how many people are going to be getting the closed beta invitation some are saying it's going to be in the thousands whether it's 1000 whether it's 6000 we don't know but it seems like it's looking like a small closed beta but this is one post from a redditor if that's a word and basically they confirmed that they've received and if you go down the post there are many more people saying that they also received a invitation and basically the email from grindy gear games says you've been invited to participate in the poe to close the beta please use this link below to create a poe2 account or use your existing poe account once you have linked your account, you'll be emailed a non-disclosure agreement to sign. So we've learned two things. Number one, the closed beta is going to happen next week. And number two, it's going to be under NDA. So we ain't going to be able to see any new live content regarding the closed beta because everyone that's going to get an invitation is going to be under NDA. This is great news because... The fact that they're actually going ahead and moving forward with the closed beta for Path of Exile 2 can only mean and we can assume and take the leap of faith that this is just around the corner before this testing is all done and the final early access version of the game is imminent. And again, like I stated, a lot of people are pointing the finger at a November time frame, but only time will tell. Now we are in the month of August. And if the rumors are true about a November release, then I would assume there are going to be several other testing periods vis-a-vis -vis closed beta. Any developer that's doing this type of format obviously will want to do several modes of testing. So I would assume if you did not get an invitation to the closed beta and the sad part of this information is the fact that yours truly did not get an invitation to this specific closed beta i'm really sad i have to say i was hoping to get an invite but hey there are a ton of path of exile players so what makes me any different so i am sad but i totally understand this looks like it's going to be 
very small testing groups. And again, I suspect it, there's going to be a couple, three, four, who knows what, how many closed betas there's going to be before the early release. But I would imagine this isn't going to be the first and only one. So my hope is hopefully in one of those testing closed beta periods, your boy gets invited to one of them. If not, we'll just have to wait till POE 2 comes out. But so that's the sad part. The good news is this means that the release of POE 2 early access, again, rumor has it November is imminent because they're doing this testing. So that's the great news. And I'm probably like the majority of you, we can't wait to get our hands on that game. So that's the latest and greatest on the Path of Exile 2 closed beta. And by the way, congratulations if you're one of the lucky few thousands that got invited to this closed beta. Enjoy. So as far as my progress in Settlers of Caligor, as you can see here in the background, this is just a, a VOD of my gameplay earlier today. And I just wanted to give a little update on what's going on. We're progressing really well through the maps. I'm basically grinding maps. I'm still on the yellow maps. We're slowly getting to the red maps. We are on tiers. Actually, I'm all over the place just because I don't have all the maps. So we're going between... I think we started the night off on tier six or tier no tier eight and i th think the highest we did was a tier 11 so whatever maps i have we're getting them done and i and i bought a couple of other maps but we're grinding through the maps hopefully we're going to get to red maps soon in the next couple of days uh for sure this week we are going to hit the higher tier map. So it's going to be very exciting to see how that ventures out. The town is progressing very well. I don't know what's going on, but my mappers in the town, I had another one die. That's my third mapper to die. Um, so I still haven't figured out the ranking of the map runners. Obviously, the lower the tier, uh, maybe obviously that's impacting but i'm staying away from really put you you can put 12 maps into the device and i do have high enough rank in my town that the maps can now be yellow but i am sprinkling in a couple of yellow maps out of the 12. basically i'm just putting all blue maps uh white blue and one or two yellows just to see how that goes so i'll report back further on that and see how things are going but i have three guys that are three mappers that died already i have i purchased a rank seven mapper and that guy is costing me a thousand gold an hour for his services so he better be worth it and uh we'll see how it goes anyway so the town's progressing really well. Whether uh, you know or not, depending on whether or not you watch my content or you're on my live streams, but I've taken the decision in my town to stop shipping. And that is just because I want to ramp up my stock and have a lot of inventory. And then we're going to get back into ramping up the shipping. And again, I'm doing that because I found that a lot of the times I was not fulfilling the full requirement of what the other towns wanted. I was doing half of the shipment allotment. And you know what? I don't, that's not going to get me the returns that I'm looking for. So I want to beef up my inventory and then we'll get back into shipping. That's my progress. Level 88, we're around 10, tier 10, 11 ish. We're probably going to be 11 plus uh, on my next stream. And yeah, we're just going to continue to ramp up the map and really get to the fun part and to the end game and really push this even more. And another thing that some of the points of focus moving forward for this week, I'm still dying a lot. We need to fix that. And one of the reasons why is my resistances specifically my light lightning and chaos my chaos is still minus 38 percent now no big deal just stay away from the puddles but i would like to get 
all of them above the cap so I don't have to worry about it anymore. And I want to make my build more efficient and uh, more damage output. So those kind of my priorities. And there's some things that I can work on as far as gear that I'm going to try to analyze and look at this week. The other thing is I have a divine burning a hole in my pocket. There you see it. It's still there. Uh, I have one divine, so why not use it? So I'm I'm hesitant because of the lack of knowledge I have in the game to pull the trigger uh, on spending that divine and how to use it. So if you got any tips, let me know. A lot of people were asking that my uh, Path of Exile profile was on private. I believe I've now changed it to public. So you can go in there and you can check out my build. Let me know my comments. I want to hear from all of you. How would you spend a divine? I have one divine. I know it's not a lot, uh, but it's what I got. So let me know. I would love to hear it because I want to I wanna progress and elevate my build. Anyway, that'll do it, everybody. Um, yeah, if you want to watch me continue this grind, this... And by the way, guys, I'm having a great time playing this game. There are so many, like in my previous video, if you haven't played this game, you might want to try it out. Who knows? You might not. You might like it. And if you don't like it, then it, it is what it is. But I'm having a blast. There's so much to do in this game. It's not even funny. And what is more intriguing, well, as intriguing, is just the learning that you are doing in this game. And it feels good good when you don't know something and then you learn something it just adds to the knowledge you have in this game so it's really been a pleasure to play this game i'm just sad i didn't sink my teeth like i'm sinking my teeth into the game a long time ago but anyway if you want to see me fumble around through this journey come and watch me live every evening on twitch channel name is sammy caps we'd love to have you we have a cool chill community and by the way path of exile community you guys you guys are so supportive and amazing thank you a lot of you a lot of new people are coming in the stream every evening and the advice and tips i get are just it's unbelievable remarkable you guys are very supportive so thank you for that anyway that'll do it everybody take care and thanks for watching the opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.